So what does this mean for us? Let's bring in John Bolton, the former United States ambassador to the United Nations and a Fox News contributor who joins us every Sunday at about this time. Good morning, Ambassador. Good morning. Glad to be here. Well, you know, Israeli President Shimon Peres says an attack on Iran is, quote, closer, and he says, more and more likely. Do you think it will happen? The answer is yes, they will attack. As in the past, they attacked Syria's nuclear reactor in September of 2007 and Saddam Hussein's nuclear reactor in 1981. And let me just say, this is not uh, hard for Israel at this point. Uh, we know where the facilities are, the uranium conversion facility at Esfahan, the uranium enrichment facility at Natanz. Esfahan is on the surface and unprotected. Natanz is buried, but IAEA inspectors have been all over it. This is within Israel's capabilities. Certainly it's true the United States could do it better. And what's also true is the more time that goes on, the greater the likelihood Iran will disperse and better protect additional duplicate facilities, which is why, in my opinion, Israel is going to need to strike soon and, in fact, should have struck long ago. What if the Obama administration is against it? Well, I think uh, it'll be tough for the Obama administration. Israel's not going to ask our permission. The fact that Panetta couldn't get a straight answer is no surprise. Uh, it's been true for a long time. Israel didn't ask permission in September of 2007 before they struck that North Korean reactor in Syria. We'll, we'll know about it when uh, bombs are falling on Esfahan and Natanz, is my judgment. So you don't think that uh, Jerusalem is going to give us a heads up? Absolutely not, because they know that the consequences... Uh, would be that uh, under this administration in particular, uh, it would simply give the White House advance notice and, and time to, to uh, prepare to uh, impose our own sanctions as we have been implicitly threatening the last three years not to rearm uh, Israel, not to resupply them for planes and other equipment that will inevitably be lost if the Israelis strike. And but remember, the alternative is not life as it is today. The alternative is Iran with nuclear weapons. So if you don't like Iran as it is today, imagine how much worse it would be once it gets nuclear weapons. Well, speaking of Iran today, let's take a look at a second at Mahmoud Ahmadinejad when he sat down with me last year. They have always denied that they are pursuing nuclear weapons. They say they are doing this for electricity. Here's what he said when I asked him. Would you swear to Allah that you are not planning to build a nuclear bomb. Is there a law that says I must swear to convince others? I have said on numerous occasions that we do not want an atomic bomb. Well, it's always, you know, who us? Yeah, well, there you go. What else do you need to hear, right? 